so hi everyone i just want to say that this ring light is messing with my contact lenses but <laughs> i just want to say happy new year and a merry christmas i could have probably said that this way around um so yeah this year i'm gonna film loads um i'm moving out in a couple of months hopefully so i'll be doing moving vlogs um i'll be vlogging like every day because my boyfriend will be at work and i'm there like self-employed like i need a company <laughs> um so yeah, I'll probably be vlogging loads this year just because there's a lot going on. Um, I'm at, I don't even know if, I think it's next weekend. I don't know, I might as well just, oh my ice cream's doing it, or should I ain't like this? Um, so yeah, I've just filmed this look, this is what I wear all the time now. Even if I'm like going for a meal or going out, out then I'll wear this. I, I don't put contacts in now, I just felt like putting them in. But some of them's got like dirt behind it and it's like scraping my hair off. <laughs> so yeah, I hope you all enjoyed it and I'm just going to put music over the, like over this, it's like a chill video rather than a voiceover because everyone hates how I speak. But yeah, if you want to know my um, makeup then you can tell I haven't filmed in ages. Wow, I cannot speak. Um, if you want to know how I do my makeup on like a regular basis sometimes i'll just work by the lashes but yeah keep on watching and i'll leave everything linked down below so after a really awkward tragic intro i'm just gonna crack on i'm taking the mac to like cover up and i'm carving out my natural brow and then i'm using it as a base my shadow it's really weird but i do my brows like last Mm, I know, but trust me, try it. Just carve out your brows. It's just easy. It's just fun. I'm not even setting my lid either. I'm just going straight in with um an orange from the Jaclyn Hill palette, and I'm just blending it in my crease. The reason I've stopped setting my base is because everything's just more vibrant and soft. Like the first layer you put down is a bit like tricky to blend, but in the end, it's just it's just. Just amazing. Then I decided to put in like contacts and like I've got like yellow eyes like my cat but I'm just gonna like, move forward from that and I don't know what I'm doing because I've my eyes closed but <laughs> I think I'm just taking like a dark brown. Okay I'm taking this, this colour. There's not really much to this look and at first it looks like really tragic like I'm going backwards in life with makeup skills but in the end it's actually stunning. Basically just put like matte warm colours on your lid and then I'm just taking black shadow and line in my lash line. Um that brown is nice as well if you don't want it to be too harsh. And then just taking like cocoa bear from makeup geek to blend it out because it was just a little bit harsh. Um and then my contact got like stuck to my eyeball but again we're just gonna move forward from that. And then trying to look cute whilst spraying some oh okay spraying my face with fix plus using the Fenty primer this is like the only primer i use now um it's actually amazing stunning and then taking my drugstore holy grail foundation l'oreal true match i think this is in the shade well, i used to use d4 but i think this is d3 because my tan had faded and i'm using like a fluffy brush not like a synthetic one oh weird right trust me though trust it goes really flawless and then whoa these just need a whole video themselves peggy sage concealers it's supposed to be like the nars ones but i've never tried the nars ones they did send me three shades but i've lost the middle shade which matched which matched them perfectly so what i do now is put the dark one on first then put the lightest one on and then like together it makes a really nice highlighted shade that's not too highlighted either it's just like that in between again where's the beauty blender where's it out there it's gone, it's gone. I'm using a just a brush to blend out my concealer and then I'm setting my under eyes and like greasy areas. Just like my hair. Um just setting up with the light mineralized skin finish from MAC and then using it's either medium deep or give me sun to warm up my face. Oh it must be fit oh 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 I'm bronzing my full face. It's like not a, it's my hair. But. <laughs> okay, anyway, I'm just gonna highlight with Champagne Pop. 
as you can tell, this is literally all I use. Is I've hit pan hard. It's just st stunning. I got a hate comment. Someone on Depop started on mail of my own like, items, and they show like your YouTube videos are shit. You are not stunning, and I was like, it's stunning. And I'm taking that Bellina blush from Ofra. Yep, I'm a blush girl now. It's just how things are. Um. Okay. Um. I'm. Pr what's wrong with me? Okay. Um. Taking. I'm taking some brown shades and smoking out with a lash line, and then a blending brush and a light transition colour just to blend it out. And then I'm just singing to myself in my really dirty violet gloss palette. You can't actually see half the things I'm doing, but I don't have a setup right now. I'm just sat on my floor. Um. Taking black and using that against my lash line and then a dark brown makeup geek eyeliner they're the best liners that i've ever tried from makeup geek tell them my lashes and i put on a mascara skip through that though because that's just irrelevant and boring and then taking the felicia lash which is the only lash i use right now from my own brand so just amazing and i usually use mac spike brow pencil i just love it more than anything now like I'm nearly in an hour and it's like I'm gonna use it to wipe it off after this video. <laughs> so I use the browers. They are very similar. I just there's something about the MAC one I love. It runs out so quickly. Like the first time I bought one from Debenhams, it came and it like it won't even like twist up and I was like, okay. So yeah, I got another one. And then I'm covering my full face, but I'm overlining my lips with whirl. I want it to be a bit darker. It's like a new pencil and I feel like you've got to go through a few, a few layers of the liner for it to go like really creamy and pigmented. I don't know if it's just that's how I feel with MAC liners. Then I'm taking cork and like deepening it up. Um, I'm actually proud of this overlined lips because it's like even. Anyway, I'm using Velvet Teddy. If you've been watching me from the start, this was there. This was A of lipsticks, and then that is the finished look. I need to do an outro because I forgot, so. See ya.